There's some days where I'm like, oh man, like, is this like, like, is this gonna be good? Like, am I gonna be okay? Like, living in a different country, like, speaking a whole different language, being away from my family for three years. Will people be able to visit? The answer to that question is, no. what language are you speaking? What will happen between you and Kes? So. What is up everyone? I'm joining you from my new bedroom. Um, it's almost done. I just have to put in a dresser right there and then we're have, I have a mirror going right there. But it's almost complete. I have almost all my furniture in. Anyways, I've had a bunch of questions about my mission and um, just like questions that surround it. So we're gonna go and answer a few today. If you're new here, I just got called to serve for years in Brazil and it's pretty crazy. So I'm gonna go over um, kind of all the questions that surround that. The first question is what is a mission? And to really simplify it in just a few seconds, it's basically where I go and serve people um, for two years and just teach them about Jesus Christ and his gospel. And yeah, that's really about it. And then to add on to that question, how long will you be gone? I've gotten this a few times and I know there's like some other church missions out there that are like shorter, but mine, I'm serving for two years. It feels like a long time. And then like sometimes I'll think about it and I'm like, okay, that's not really a long time. So I don't know. Um, I guess when I'm out there on my mission, I'll kind of figure out and let you guys know if it feels like a long time, but yeah, two years. Will people be able to visit? The answer to that question is no, I don't think any of my family is gonna come visit me while I'm in Brazil because I'll just be teaching and stuff all the time. They might pop in and oh, surprise, surprise, surprise me. You. Yeah, come and surprise me with lunch or something. Yeah, I've heard some missionaries, they've like had some family come down. So they might come visit me or not, I don't know. But if you guys live in Brazil and you're kind of in my area, <clears throat> hit me up on my email and I'll be sure to come pop in and say hi and give you a message and say what's up. What will happen between you and Kes? So I need to make a video with her because my answer is, I don't know, it's super complex. I feel like with me and her answering it together would be like the best way to do it so you guys can get both of our sides. That's for a video later on, but nothing right now is happening. We're still happy in our, in our relationship. What made you want to go on a mission? I have a few reasons for that. First off is serving. I just like serving people and I have like a bunch of experiences too that can kind of back up my answer and what led me into wanting to go serve. But yeah, serving, kind of found out like serving was super fun when I was in Fiji and we were building bathrooms for the villages down there. So I really enjoyed that. Also another thing, it's I feel like it's the perfect time for me to like spiritually and physically grow because I'm like coming right out of high school and then I have like college and like my career and then like starting a family, like that all happens later on. So I'm like just in like the perfect spot of where I can kind of do whatever with, I want with my life. So for the next two years, I picked out I'm gonna go and serve a mission. Between those two years, it really like makes time and gives me time to like deepen my relationship with God. So that's another reason. And then seeing my buddies go out too, I had um, one of my friends here out in Tennessee that went and he's been loving his mission so far. And then I have like a few other buddies from Utah that are serving their missions. And then also Parker, my best friend, he's going on a mission too. So um, yeah, seeing him kind of get ready for that and all my other friends, I feel like it's really dialed me into like wanting to serve a mission too. Yeah, so that's kind of my reasons. I have a bunch more too, but that's all I got for right now. Are you ending your YouTube channel? And this question has stuck around for a little bit ever since I announced that I was going on a mission. First off, no. Um, my plan right now is to just go and like take clips and stuff for my mission, do like show whatever I'm doing or film while I'm there. I'm not sure how much footage I can get down there, what our content's gonna look like, but I do know that, we, that we're not gonna stop um, posting on YouTube. So yeah, even in two years, if I come back, I'm still gonna be posting on YouTube. I feel like YouTube's just a fun thing to have. It stores a lot of my memories. So um, I'm definitely gonna YouTube later on in my life, but these two next two years, it's probably gonna be like, I don't know. It might slow down just a little bit, but I feel like we're, we're still gonna upload quite a bit. That's still something we're working on and trying to plan my whole mission and everything. But yeah, YouTube channel, no, not going away. Did you choose the place that you were serving? No, I did not choose where I'm serving. When you go and do your papers, talk about yourself, and then you also, you just answer a bunch of questions um, about you personally, and then like get like your medical history and all that too. So one of the 12 apostles, they go and they assign your place, and then that's where you go and serve for the next two years. All right, next question. What is the mission like on a daily basis? Um, honestly, I don't really know the schedule of what it is like being a missionary and like what you do day to day, just because I'm not on my mission yet. But from some things that I've heard is you wake up decently early, you go work out, and then you study your scriptures, and then you do like planning, and then like you eat lunch, and then you can go and teach, and then or do like service, and then by that same night, um, you like eat dinner, and then you study more, and then um, you go to bed. 
said, just depending on your mission, you do different things. So I'm not exactly sure what my mission will be like, but I'm excited to find out. When do you leave? So I leave August 7th. That is when I start home FTC. So I'll basically be doing online missionary training and I'll just like be doing classes and stuff and studying and then uh, working on learning, learning the language. And then about a week or two um, after that, I'm gonna go to the M MTC in Brazil. And then that's where I'm gonna learn like a bunch of the language and then get like the habits and schedule of, uh, of what a missionary does. What are you packing? So right now um, I'm going through the process of trying on different pants and like different shirts and different shoes and just seeing what fits best because on my mission, it's like so hot down there where they don't require missionaries to wear suits at all, like not an MTC and um, not on your mission at all. So I'm gonna be wearing like a short sleeve um, white shirt that you guys saw in the beginning of the video. And then I'm gonna be wearing like golf pants and then a tie and then and my card right here. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I can't wait to get in the whole missionary fit. Oh, also I was thinking I should make a video on like what I'm bringing and what I'm wearing for my mission because I've had a hard time of looking at YouTube videos or like TikToks and stuff to see what other people are bringing for their mission. And I see nothing. I see them from like 10 years ago. So I'm gonna do like an updated missionary must have for when you go on your mission. All right, next question. What language are you speaking? So I'm speaking Portuguese and that is just for my mission in Brazil. Um, people that are called like all over, they speak all different languages. But yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm learning. I'm currently using Duolingo to help like learn just like the basics of um, Portuguese. And then our church actually has an app. It's called Tall and Bark. I haven't used it yet, but it's also to help you study the language that you're gonna be teaching in and talking in while you're on your mission. So I'm gonna start using that. Another thing to add is that you're not expected to learn Portuguese like fluently um, by the time you get to the MTC. Um, that's where you learn like most of it is what I've heard. So I'm gonna be practicing a ton though before the MTC just so I can kind of like know stuff and I'm not just going in there blindly not knowing what like the language is like. But then also on your mission like you learn a bunch too there and like the accent and everything. So I'm excited to learn it all. I'm a little nervous because I've only taken a little bit of Spanish and that's it. So learning Portuguese is gonna be pretty crazy. If you guys have any tips out there, let me know so I can become fluent in speaking Portuguese. Will you have a phone and will you have social media? First off, I'm gonna have a phone. I think it's gonna be like some Sam, like some Samsung, not an Apple phone like this. And so the quality might not be the best. And then social media, I'm gonna have like limited social media. I think I'm only gonna have like Facebook and that's really it. But to upload to my social medias and stuff, I'm probably gonna have Boston or my parents go and take whatever I write up on my emails or whatever I like call them and tell them about. Um, write those up on my like social media posts. So you guys can hear from me and see how I'm doing and um, keep up on all the updates. Following that question, what days can you speak to your family? So missionaries, they used to only be able to call their family like FaceTime on Mother's Day and Christmas. And those were the only two days. So they only speak to their family for four times of the two years that they're serving, which is like crazy. But now missionaries, they can speak to their family, I think whenever they want, or mostly it's on P day, which is basically like their rest day where they can like just study and then write emails and like talk to people and stuff. So um, yeah, that's what, like the P days. It's kind of like a rest day. So I think for me, I'm only gonna speak to my family like once a week and I'll just like call them or like FaceTime them or whatever, text them. Um, but I do think during the week I can write emails. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to keep you guys updated on that too. All right, for the final question, how are you feeling? And I'm gonna be honest with you. Today, I am so freaking hyped. I just wanna be on my mission already. But on other days, there's some days where I'm like, oh man, like is this like, like, is this gonna be good? Like, am I gonna be okay? Like living in a different country, like speaking a whole different language, being away from my family for two years, borderline like almost like feeling sick about it. I think it's meant to be, I, I'm, I'm excited. And what I'm doing out there is good. I'm gonna be teaching others about Jesus Christ. And I think if I just trust in God and his plan for me, um, I think I'll be fine. So I'm not too worried right now, but yeah, my emotions have been all over the place. But yeah, that's how I'm feeling.